They say what's old is new again, and in a lot of cases, that's true. Vinyl records used to be almost extinct. They're now hot again. The high-waisted jeans of the 70s are everywhere in 2018. And now, believe it or not, the typewriter is making a comeback with one very big star leading the charge. NBC's Joe Fryer has our Sunday Spotlight. To many, it seems as silly as selling stone tablets. But this dinosaur is back from extinction. I'm busy as heck in here right now. The year is 2018, and business is booming at a place called California Typewriter. That just doesn't sound right. <laughs> Ken Alexander is a mechanic here and says in the past few years, they've kept busy fixing... Looking good. ...and selling these vintage machines. They need that sound, uh, what's the word? Tactile. I love it. <laughs> Credit teams like Rosemary Smith... I just like it. <laughs> and millennials like Charles Hughes. He needs a break from modern day distractions. When I'm journaling on a typewriter, I'm just doing that and there's, I can't tap over Facebook or anything. For a business that just a few years ago seemed destined for the graveyard. We were kind of concerned. Owner Herb Permillion says this is a welcome renaissance. How does that feel? Feels great. The more the merrier. You could hunt and peck the same story about Gramercy typewriter in New York. It seems that the younger people are discovering a typewriter and they all seem to want one. In the early 2000s, Paul Schweitzer says he sold about 10 manual typewriters a month. Now it's more like 60 among his customers. <laughs> a familiar face. Look at the way the keys fly. Look at that. I have never seen one of these machines ever. Let's hear the bell. Oh, you guys do good work. Tom Hanks owns more than 200 typewriters and wrote a book called Uncommon Type with stories that feature the machines. You talk about a kid in a candy store. Is, is this your candy store? Yeah, it is. I'm here both with envy and regret. Envy because I want so many of the machines, but regret because I already have two or three of some of them. He still uses typewriters daily, often to write thank you notes. Why? To answer that, he had to pound out my name. Joe, what? Fryer. F. What? R. R. Y. Y. I was going to A. 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 I. A. E. R. Like the chicken. E. R. Okay. See, it bled through the back. I typed Joe Fryer into the piece of paper. It's now one and the same. That type of permanence can be beat, as far as I'm concerned, only by chiseling words into stone. Each stroke is like a fingerprint or snowflake. It's unique. Is that valuable? No. Is it cool? Yeah. That explains why Nikki Charnstrom uses a typewriter to create poetry. When you look at this, what goes through your mind? Wow. <laughs> she owns nine typewriters, not quite 200, but still impressive. Why are you so obsessed with typewriters? There's something romantic about a typewriter where you sit in front of it and you just kind of give yourself to it. So on her 25th birthday, there was only one place this Phoenix girl wanted to go, 750 miles away, to California typewriter. Before we even stepped foot, I had to compose myself because I was crying outside the store. <laughs> I was like, why am I crying right now? Moved to tears, not by a celebrity or rock star, but by a humble store. That's just her type. For Sunday Today, Joe Fryer, Berkeley, California. Joe Fryer, thank you. And you can see much more of Joe's interview with Tom Hanks on today.com slash Sunday.